If you've been following our series online, you'll know that we've talked about a whole series of pipelines that you can use to really build your business, to take your purpose and make it a reality. Today, I wanna to share with you the final pipeline, which is a pipeline called accountability. I feel like accountability is one of those topics that comes up pretty regularly whenever there's a problem. Maybe it's government expenditure in whatever country you're from. And you know, there's been the latest article about how there's been fraud or waste or whatever in that department. Maybe it's accountability when it comes to the finances of a business and the latest business that's gone bankrupt because, you know, there wasn't any accountability. But you know, what about the positive story about accountability and how it can absolutely change the trajectory of your business and build you into a better business, help you achieve your purpose. So I believe there's three things that accountability will bring to your business that will help you achieve your purpose, to create wealth through your business. The first thing is that accountability allows you to measure what matters. When accountability is done effectively, you start to measure the things that actually matter to your business. Let me give you an example. Imagine that you wanted to create a beautiful garden in a backyard somewhere. Maybe you've got your own backyard and you can look out your window and have a look at it now. And in that garden, you wanted to grow some carrots, but you're actually measuring the number of radish seeds that you bought. Now that's a bit of a ridiculous example, but can you see how in that case, you're measuring the number of radish seeds that you bought, but you actually want to achieve carrots? The first thing about accountability is learning to measure what matters. What matters to your business might be quite different from what matters to my business. Even if you're in the same industry as other people, there might be some measures that you want to measure that matter more to you than to other businesses. That's because the measures that matter relate to the second key, which is relating your measurements to purpose. Accountability is built upon achieving the purpose that you have for your business or for your life. If you wanna be accountable for something, you need to be accountable on purpose for a purpose. Accountability without purpose is really just legalism. It's creating rules for yourself that will create hassle and pain that don't really have a purpose. The third thing is you need to make your accountability measured in a way that is non-painful. Have you ever been in a company or a place where like the amount of time you spend doing accountability measures is like 50% of your time when it's not actually your job. All the accountability measures that are in place actually create so much of a hassle for your business that you can't move, you can't do anything. It's challenging to actually get the work done because you're being accountable uh, in a really silly way. Now don't get me wrong, accountability matters. In fact, without accountability, your business is at risk of just going off and becoming a nothing burger. But if the accountability is so difficult to achieve that it's impossible to actually do the work, I mean, you really have to ask yourself, what is the purpose of the accountability in the first place? So here's three things that we figured out that we hope will allow us to achieve what we want to do in Trade Oxy. The first thing that we did was we created a regular cadence for when accountability would happen. I've already mentioned how at the end of every meeting, we quickly summarize what's been talked about, but we also have some global measures that we measure for our business. If you're following us on social media, and I really encourage you to do so if you're not, you're going to start to see that every Friday, we will be releasing a series of accountability measures for our business about what has happened in our business. We believe things that matter to us and they matter to our business and they'll really make a difference. It's our way of being accountable for what we're doing. The second thing that we started to do with our accountability is to automate them as much as possible. As a company, we are dead set against any sort of process that requires extra time that can't be automated. We wanna make sure that accountability happens by default because it's easy to do. In fact, being accountable should be the easiest pathway for people to follow. It should be difficult to follow a non-accountable pathway because it creates negative impacts for the business. And if that's the case, if that statement is true, then we wanna make accountability as easy as possible. I'm not saying that we reduce the effectiveness of the accountability, I'm saying that we don't want people to fill out the same information in three different places on three different forms because different people want different parts of accountability. Instead, if you enter a piece of information once and there's other accountability measures that require it, it is on you as the accountability designer to figure out how to make that process as easy as possible for everyone else. The third thing that we've done then is we regularly discuss the accountability and then we turn it into action plans. Sometimes things go wrong in our business, not because of a lack of accountability, 
but because we as business owners didn't figure out that it needed to be measured in the first place. Maybe someone who had more experience would have picked that up before us and we totally acknowledge that, but the reality is we're on a learning journey just like everyone else. You're on a learning business for your business. Particularly if you're in a field of innovation and you're doing something that no one's ever done before, I mean, you've got to figure it out. We want to build that skill and that muscle before we get to that stage. So ultimately, we want to put accountability at the center of everything we do, but not in a way that detracts from everything that we do. So here's what we're going to be doing at the end of this video and moving forward on our social media. We've come up with 10 different measures that we believe indicate the health of Tradeoxy as a platform. And we don't just want to report on that information internally, we actually want to report on it externally because we want you to be a part of our story, just like I talked about in the pipeline called Storytelling. It allows us to share our journey with you and it also allows us to be accountable to what we're doing. Every single person in our company looks at these measures every single Friday. If you go to our Instagram, if you go to our Twitter feed, if you go to our YouTube and our LinkedIn, you're gonna see the same measures reported at the same time. You can even go to our website and see the latest report now. These measures matter to our business and we feel that by sharing them, we become better at doing business and we stay focused on the things that matter. That's accountability in action and we hope it helps. Don't forget, the best is yet to come.